monthly favorites. I'm really excited about it. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to start off with my hair products that I've been using for my hair this uh, past month, November. Um, one thing that's really helped me to keep my hair from being too dry. And so I've been using this Garnier Fruit Tooth. Fructis 3 Minute Undo Dryness Reveal Reversal Treatment Triple Nutrient and it has olive oil, avocado, and shea butter. And it's for dry to over dry to damaged hair. That's what it looks like. Let's see how much I've used it. I got like this much left. So I need to buy me another bottle of that. And the next thing um, after I get out of the shower, it's my Pantene Medium Thick Hairstyle Cream. And I've had this for a while as well, but Looks like that. It's for medium, medium thick hair. Um, I've had it for a while. You just do, oh, you just do one pump, and it's amazing. Like before this product, I never really wore my hair down because it was so un unpredictable. Like one day it'd be like straight, and then stay where it's supposed to. Sometimes it'd completely flip out and like frizz up really bad throughout the day. But that has saved me this past month. And another product, I don't use this all the time. Just whenever. Like I curl my hair or I don't do it when I have straight hair because I find myself with straight hair. I constantly move my hands through my hair and um, it's the Redken Shine Balance O2 Shine Flask Fast. I got this in a birch box sample and then for volume, um, since I'm using these heavy creams on my hair, it weighs it down. And so I've been using the Suave Professionals Volumizing Mousse. And another thing that's been great for my dry skin that I'm going to keep using on through the winter months is the St. Ives um, Shea, wait, what is it? Oatmeal Shea Butter Moisturizing Body Wash. I've used so much of it. This is like my fourth bottle. Not fourth, that's a lie. Um, second or third. But I'm down here. I need to buy me some more. But I love that stuff. I have a problem with acne on my chest and back. And I found that usually I can't use like scented body lotions because I really break out on my legs and my arms. And which sucks because you know people will buy me this amazing smelling lotion from Bath and Body Works. And I can't wear them. I can use them for my hands and stuff. But then I'll sometimes I get a headache as well. So I'm screwed on both ends. But... That stuff smells amazing. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't uh, mess with anything. And it's cleared up my acne on my back and my chest. So, love, love, love that product. Um, next, um, during finals in this past couple months, studying really a lot for exams and stuff, I've been really having really dark under eye circles and my face is just kind of dull. And just wasn't a pretty sight. So I needed a few products that actually would brighten my face and make me look more awake and stuff. So the first thing I got was this NYX Pure White. Um, yeah, I love this stuff. I just put it on my bottom wire line and it instantly opens my eyes. So the next thing to help brighten my face is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle. It has the velvet tip on top you just twist this and product comes up and I sweep it like a couple of times to get enough product under my eye and I will use my Sigma E40 looks like that and I'll just blend it out and work it all the, I'll work it in the middle pocket and all the way out up here by my uh, eyebrow eyebrow okay and so, in the next stuff, I've had this Smashbox. This is my very first expensive, I like to say, from Sephora uh, Quad. It's the Smash Smashbox uh, Panorama. It has the dark purple, the white, and then the light gray over here. And I've used the purple. Like, I'll just put it on the uh, outside of my eye. And then, like, kind of in the outer B. Um, a little bit more in the middle. And then the gray to blend it out and I've actually used the white just like eyeshadow and it actually turned out really pretty um, another eye product is the L'Oreal the one sleep eyeshadow which I don't like the little applicator that comes with it um it, it sits over here it's, um it looks like this all right and you're supposed to get it and sweep it over but I find that I can never the same 
on the brush every application so I don't know if you're supposed to wash it every time you use it or what but it's kind of annoying so uh, I just don't use it and I just use my regular brushes and apply it like that and it's the it has the I don't know it doesn't really have a name on it which sucks um, it has a shimmery brown and like a shimmery light brown and then a really dark brown at the bottom and I, I really just use the middle color and just swept it in my crease and went out the door so love that next I'll go to lip stuff for the morning time when I wake up um, and the only stuff I put on my lips lately has been the Nivea a kiss of smoothness hydration lip color lip care SPF 4 you can tell how brain dead I am from studying I can't really talk that stuff love it go out of all the Nivea lip products that one's the most creamy and um absolutely love it and the next two that are my absolute favorite favorite um I bought this mint julep uh, lip scrub looks like that and oh my god it smells so good and the best stuff about this stuff is that whenever you uh you first you do you wet your lips and you wet your finger and grab a little bit out and scrub all over your lips and stuff and then you can lick it off and since it's mint so delicious and I'll do this after I wash my face and do all that stuff at night before I go to bed I'll use this and then I'll come up with the EOS mint I don't know it's the mint one and uh, just rub it on there it smells tastes makes me feel so good before I go to bed okay next two things my absolute favorites like I've been wearing this every single day on and off and on my fingernails I've been wearing the Essie's pretty edgy I'm gonna paint my nails after finals is up and all that stuff and really pamper myself. And the next uh, product is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail color in the color Blue Moon. And I've gotten a few uh, navy blue nail products. I'm trying to get the cheaper in, but a lot of them kind of sucked. They would like dye my nail really, really bad or like around. It'd, you put it on there and it looked perfect and then it'd run on your finger. And so this one has worked very well for me and it's cheap. So definitely recommend this. I've been wearing this on my toes, by the way. Next thing, I'm going to show you my favorite clothing. Every single chance I can, I have been wearing my new Just Fabulous boots. Um, I've gotten a few boots from them, but these are definitely my favorite because they're my they're flat. They, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's wooden right here. It's got the buckle and then it's got this really cute strap in the back. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to unsnap it and you can roll it down, but the inside's not very, doesn't look like you could roll it down. And it has this little zip in the ankle. When I tell you, these are the most comfortable shoes, even more comfortable than my tennis shoes. And they're so gorgeous and they're so beautiful. I've gotten so many compliments on them and I'm going to do a review and show you all the products that I've gotten from them. Um, and another little surprise so those are those and literally like every other day if not every day I've been wearing those and my next thing that is my absolute favorite are the Hanes uh, comfort soft uh, extra large well it didn't make extra large just the regular large v-neck tees I love these things so much because I can wear them over my leggings and it covers my back end and it's so comfortable yeah that's it um, I'm about to I'm gonna go de-dress and go to uh, the library. I might take like an hour, another hour break in between studying and edit this and try to get it up tonight, but if I don't, it'll be up first thing, or right, right after my final on Saturday. So yeah, well I hope y'all have a great weekend and I hope y'all stay tuned. I have a lot more videos coming up. Visit my blog at christinegxo.blogspot.com and don't forget to subscribe to see more stuff since it's Christmas break I'll have so much free time to update on my blog and update on um, YouTube and film a lot of videos I have a long list of things that I really want to do and show you guys so yeah well I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to write and comment below and also subscribe and I will see you guys later happy holidays